Hello and good morning. There's a lot to talk about astrologically. There's so much going on and I just thought of the perfect way to explain it. It took me forever to start recording this video because every time I started recording, my neighbor would start running a power tool. And it's the sense of stop and go. Mercury is in Aries. We think and we want to act and we want to do it now. But Mercury is going retrograde on Monday, giving us kind of a forced opportunity to pause, to stop, to reflect. If I had recorded a few minutes ago, I would have said completely different things. And now I'm recording talking about something based on being forced to stop and being forced to wait for a second and reflect. The other thing I decided to do since I was made to wait by the neighbor's noise is I decided to do a pick a card. So what we're looking at astrologically Mercury is re moving retrograde starting on Monday. Mercury is the messenger, wants to think, wants to do right away. Uh, it's a very now kind of energy, but it can also be really, really irritable and spicy. And when Mercury is retrograde, um, I have three piles here where we can ask, how is Mercury retrograde going to affect me? The first pile is lapis lazuli. The second pile is kyanite. And the third pile is fluorite. Now for your full length reading for all 12 zodiac signs, you should go check out my YouTube channel. Every Sunday I do in-depth horoscopes. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, on our pick a pile, take three deep breaths and choose whichever pile you feel most drawn to. If you chose pile one, the lapis lazuli pile, Mercury retrograde is going to affect you. Oh, we've got the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands, we see someone fending off unwanted attention or energy. Uh, one of my friends actually said, this looks like me on Truth Week. <laughs> Once a month, uh, women have a hard time holding back the truth. And sometimes our shadow has a lot to say. The Seven of Wands means that Mercury retrograde is going to affect you in a way that you're much more intense about your boundaries, setting and enforcing healthy emotional boundaries that help you pause and think and reflect instead of being rushed or pressured or pushed into making a decision. If you create boundaries that allow you to have a healthy relationship with time, you are able to make well thought out decisions. So again, don't make decisions when you feel rushed or pressured or put on the spot. Listen to your gut, including listen to your shadow. Sometimes fear is a representation of anxiety, but sometimes fear is an instinctual response to our intuition saying, hey, this is a bad idea, or hey, this is a bad person, or hey, this is a bad situation. So listen to your gut. That's your advice for Mercury Retrograde. Set and enforce boundaries. If, ooh, if you chose pile two, the kyanite pile, Mercury Retrograde is going to affect you in a way that it makes you feel swept up in a tornado. The Eight of Wands is a quickening where there's lots of thought, lots of action, lots of decisions, lots of communication, a sense that everything is happening at once. Um, it's a quickening when it comes to the quality of time and a struggle to stay grounded and calm in the midst of a storm. So the way that Mercury retrograde is going to affect you is that you're going to recognize how important it is to create calm within a storm. Claim your power whenever you can, but in a lot of ways, learning to let go of that which is outside of your control and learning to not to get sucked in to other people's drama and craziness. Sometimes we can't help it, but if we are able to move through it with grace and ease, um, sometimes the only way through is through, um, but your Mercury retrograde message is to be the calm within the storm. Don't get sucked in and don't get carried away and this too shall pass. If you chose the fluorite pile, your Mercury retrograde message. Oh, we've got the two of pentacles. So we see this person doing a balancing act, right? And they're standing on a seesaw. And what they don't see with the cat jumping in is that unexpected circumstances or influences are about to throw the entire balance off. If we have way too much on our plates 
if our attention is completely taken up by the things in our physical realm that we are not able to listen to our intuition represented by the water and we're not able to hold space for our emotional health, then one little thing can be the straw that broke the camel's back. Your Mercury retrograde message, the way that Mercury retrograde is going to affect you, is you're going to realize how important it is to really create a healthy balance that allows you to have a hand free, uh, that allows you to be at peace and uh, allows you to have a healthy relationship with time and responsibilities. If you feel like you're the only one holding things into balance, this could be a situation in which you learn to let go of some stuff or um, delegate some responsibilities to give yourself a break. Mercury retrograde for you could also be represented by this cat jumping in. So an unexpected situation that throws things off balance. It may be a financial expense, maybe just like a little hiccup in your road or a, you know, wrench in your plans, whatever the words are. So do be prepared for unexpected circumstances. Don't overcommit your time or your energy or your money. Um, and really as much as you can, make sure that you go slowly and leave space to adjust your plans if need be. Well, thanks so much for being here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. And like I said, definitely go check out my YouTube channel where you'll find full-length horoscopes for all 12 zodiac signs. I'll see you next time.